this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's A Lovely World. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Polly Reindeer. Good morning, Fizzy Elephant. Oh, are we doing the egg thing? Are we doing the egg thing? We do the egg thing. You know, I'm going to do this. This is going to be the grand finale of the Catch the Egg on Your Head game. Just because, as fun as it is, I'm getting bored of it now. <laughs> so basically, if you haven't seen any of them, I throw an egg in the air. Whoever catches it on their head is the winner. So whoever catches it on their head now will be forever known as the grand champion of having egg on their head. So this is this is the big one. If you're going to win one, it's going to be this one. Right, okay. Let's try and get a good throw. I think that's perfect. I've got better with my throws. Who is going to catch the egg on their head? <laughs> none, none of them moved. They all just stood perfectly still. I mean, to be fair, considering how still you were, it's still pretty close between Polly and William there. So right, I guess we uh, we don't have a champion then. <laughs> we will go down in history books as no one has egg on their head. Right then, let me go and have my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Ah, very tasty. Uh, let me go grab Barnaby. I will take him to the dog house momentarily. Uh, and then, yeah, our choose which dog is going to be joining us. And we're going to be beginning to build a giant pier today. Something that I um, have been wanting to build for a very long time. The reason I kind of held back building it was I just couldn't decide what was going to be at the end of the pier. There's no point having a pier with nothing on. So I, need to, I needed to come up with what's going to be on. So, um, yeah, we will find out later. Uh, maybe today, maybe in the next episode, uh, what it is that I've decided to build at the end of it. Uh, but first, I want to add someone to my love garden. And today to my love garden, I'm adding Pearl Heart. And that is for a YouTube series that they're doing. They're basically doing Stampy's Lovely Lore. And they're kind of going through uh, my previous episodes and kind of using artwork to kind of explain the history of my lovely world and everything that's been going on. And uh, it's really useful for me because I have a really bad memory and really interesting. And they put a load of uh, work into it. So it will be linked down in the description if you want to find out about Stampy's Lovely Lore. So thank you so much for doing that, Pearl Heart, and welcome to my love garden. All right, then, let's go get Barnaby to the, uh, the doghouse. I will explain where I am building the pier, uh, and then uh, what it's going to look like, what the materials are going to be out of, and we can use our new frog lights. <laughs> I don't know how many of you saw the last episode, but whew, it was a journey. It was meant to be almost like a little filler episode because I didn't really know what exactly like what I was going to be building or how I was going to be building it. And I was like, you know what? There's frogs in the game. Let's have an episode playing with frogs. I'll try and get the one to eat a slime and then I'll get a frog light. Little did I know is that um, they don't eat slimes. They eat uh, magma cubes. And it was a bit of a journey. Uh, but we got some, a couple frogs lights and I have since then gained three more. It's actually not too difficult. I've got the, uh, I put a little pond down there with our frog. So it's actually not that difficult now, uh, but I couldn't be bothered to get any more than that. But I will do. Anyway, uh, Secret, you can, can you stand up? I think I need to go this side. There we go. You can stand up and uh, you can join us. And uh, yeah, let me go and explain uh, where I'm building. I actually did explain uh, about the pier and where we're building it in the last episode, but I ended up cutting it out of the episode because the episode ended up being like over half an hour long anyway. And I was like, yeah, okay, there's no point explaining it then if I'm going to be <laughs> just doing it now anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see where I've built out the path here. So it's going to stretch out, but like way off into the, the distance. My draw distance is quite low right now. So you can't actually see, I don't think, where the end of the pier will be. Uh, so it's going to be a big one, and uh, we're going to be doing it mainly out of dark oak. Uh, basically because I've <laughs> built things out of all sorts of different materials around here, but I haven't actually built much out of dark oak. So I'm always kind of, when I'm planning to build something, I'm not just deciding what it looks like. I'm also thinking about, you know, what does it look like compared to everything else that we have in the uh, in the area. And so that's why I think dark oak will be good. So we're going to kind of like stare our way up here. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a mixture between um, just blocks and half slabs. So it's going to be like a, a more gradual slope. Because uh, originally when I was kind of planning it, I tried it with stairs. And it all looked like way too steep. Uh, so tell you what, I'm going to need loads of these planks. So let's just make loads of these planks now. And then a whole load of half slabs. And then we should be set for all of the materials that we need. So uh, yeah, basically the entire pier... It's going to be dark oak, but then the um, there's going to be like fences around the side, and they're going to be normal oak, uh, and then also like the uh, the struts that are going to be like supporting it, uh, they are going to be uh, made out of uh, normal oak uh, as well. So 
Uh, actually, this goes to here. I don't need to do the uh, half slabs, I realize, right to the end, just because there's going to be fences uh, along here. So let's just do it uh, along here. That should be five wide. And uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, how high I'm going to, to go for this thing, but I guess I'll um, I'll just kind of see what looks good. And that's kind of the, the thing with this whole build, is normally I'm very, very exact with everything that I'm building. I kind of plan it all out perfectly. But for like the length of this and all the exact dimensions and stuff, uh, I'm going to just improvise them a little bit. Just because it doesn't matter very much, like when you're building something like so big uh, along like this, like getting it like block perfect, uh, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't really affect anything. So I think maybe I'll go like, yeah, maybe one more like little step. Oh, so if I do this next one here as the uh, as normal blocks, then maybe we'll say we'll do it to, to that height. So I think any higher might start looking silly and any lower I think will be too low. That is looking, uh, yeah, pretty good. So all right, this is gonna be the, the start. So helpers, could you, um, oh, hi Fizzy. <laughs> could you uh, help me just build this along? So it needs to be seven blocks wide, basically the length of the, the stairs here. And if you just go like way off into the distance, just keep, just keep on going, maybe until you're level with, um, uh, maybe just go a bit past the uh, the boat shop, which I have down there, and just build this as, as one giant block. Do not think, though, that this is what it's going to end up looking like, because it's actually, and I've kept this secret with you up until now, and I felt very guilty about it, but here's the big reveal. It's going to be a wiggly pier. <laughs> what I mean by that is it's going to kind of like zigzag its way along. I know you might be thinking, well, it doesn't look very wiggly. It looks like a big straight line right now. And you would be right. It does currently look like a big straight line. But I'm going to like dig out some like, well, I guess chop out some like inserts on it. Uh, basically, uh, I'm going to go um, along here and kind of cut off some like little bits just to make it look wiggly. And obviously it would make more sense just to build it like that in the first place rather than to like place down blocks and then <laughs> go and destroy them again <laughs> straight away. But... I think it's just, just less confusing this way, and I'd rather do a way which is like maybe slightly slower, but like less confusing, because then there's like a lower chance that I'm going to, to make a, a mistake. So let's do uh, let's do this fence. Oh no, that half slab needs to go like that. Don't you start drowned? Don't don't you you stay down there in the water where you belong. This is why we got the uh, the big pier to stay away from them. So yeah, I'm gonna go straight for a little bit because I realised when I was doing a few plans that if I went and kind of did it wiggly straight away, it looked a bit weird. So let's kind of do it straight, maybe to yeah, let's do it to there, and then we'll start doing the wiggles. So it's very simple to do. Basically, I dig out three like that, and then I dig out three even further along like this. And then oh, I've just realized I've got all diamond tools apart from an iron axe, which is like the, the one thing that would have been really useful. Does anyone have a spare like diamond axe that they want to trade for like an iron one just because it's so slow? But yeah, basically, that's what it will be on one side. You leave the other side flat. And then I go to like the first bit where I haven't dug away and then go to the other side and go one, two, three. And then I go three again in like this. And then what you'll see is it ends up kind of making like one big giant zigzag the uh, the, the whole way along. Uh, so let me make sure I finish off this side and get it right. So one, two, three, then one, two, three. And so then this will line up again where we get another long straight side here like that. So tell you what, let's go and... Um, Let's go. Actually, well, this was goes out by free anyway. Uh, for this one, I think I can probably just build it in like this, and then yeah, help us if you kind of build in from like this end first, just to get it fully filled in, because then I can kind of come behind and do the the zigzag rather than building all the way to the end. So this needs to be one, two, three, and then is that the right level? Yeah, then that level goes out to there. And then this will be all the way uh, filled in along there like that, and then yeah, then I can show you how we're doing do the uh, the struts, and then also it's going to have the uh, the fences uh, the whole way along as well. And so let me kind of show you how that will be. And uh, I don't know, actually, I feel like the, uh, the dark oak and the oak work really well because the thing is, I, I really didn't want it to clash too much with that bridge. And that's using the uh, the classic like spruce and birch, which <laughs> so much of my, my lovely world is made out of. And so that's why I kind of wanted to do it as one solid color, but then I didn't want it to, to look boring. Then I've also got that down there as well. So it's a few relatively kind of similar shaped things with fences in a row. And I really wanted to make it stand out, and I think it's the the shape uh, of this which is going to make uh, what make it uh, stand out the the most. Uh, right, so let's uh, let's carry on with my my zigzags then. So I do three, 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 and then I go to here. And then I do the, the same here, one, two, three, and then we go in by one like this, and then we do three across like that, 
and then one, two, three, and then till I do one more of these, and then maybe I'll leave the, the rest of these to my helpers, then I'll go and show you how the struts are going to be. So one, two, three, and then I go along there like that. Oh, I love, I love the, um, I love the reflection of the lighthouse in the water like that. I know I'm just constantly just saying about how much I like Minecraft with ray tracing on, but it's so free. It's, I, I don't know why, like everyone who could play Minecraft like this isn't. It just looks so much nicer. And oh yeah, I updated the, uh, the resource pack. If you remember, I did the, um, the, the frog lights in the uh, the last episode and I spent ages trying to get them and then I placed it down and it didn't even light up because I had an out of date resource pack. I have now updated it so they will now light up and actually it might be a good time to show that uh, seeing as it's, uh, it's starting to get dark. So where I wanted to put them is basically on all the bits where it kind of pokes out like this, that's where I'm going to put down the lantern. So I'm going to build up a little bit uh, with these fences, just to just to make it look a little bit more fancy. And then I might have to pile up a little bit here, just so I can get up here. And then I'll put the frog light on there. And then, oh yeah, I should have made one before I came up here, but then I'm gonna do an oak half slab on the top. I mean, there we go. So that's how it's gonna be lit up. So it just means it's gonna be like nicely spread out uh, throughout the, the whole thing. Uh, there's gonna be a, a whole bunch of those. So let's make some half slabs. Uh, and then if I put that on top, it kind of almost makes the frog light look a little bit like a, a lantern uh, rather than kind of just a, I don't know, like glowstone or something else. Look, if I place it down and then back off, hopefully you will uh, understand what it is that I'm talking about. So let's get rid of my <laughs> giant block of dirt that I placed down here. So there we go. So these are going to be along the whole way down. I don't know, William. Uh oh. Oh, is it too dark? Oh, I think it might. I think there might be googly spawning everywhere. Oh no. Oh, what happened? Oh, that was a creeper <laughs> explosion. I've been here this whole time build, building my little pier, all happy with myself, and it looks like there's been a bit of chaos happening down here. But oh yeah, this is definitely, uh, definitely more than far enough. So don't don't worry about building anywhere anywhere further along than here. This is this is probably further than we're going to end up going. Um, looks like everyone's trying to grab their things. I'll spread out some torches around here. And then, yeah, as I said, if you guys carry on just kind of, if you copy what I did doing the uh, the dig out bits uh, along the end, ev eventually these uh, these torches will go. Eventually we'll just have the uh, the frog lights the, the whole way down. Um, uh, but yeah, for, for now it might be uh, useful just to have some of them. So there we go. Let's uh, spread some torches the whole way along. And then, yeah, I'm going to make loads and loads of these oak fences because that's what we need. Because, uh, yeah, that's what the, uh, the little struts are going to be made out of. So let me do uh, one of them uh, to show how how they're gonna be and then there's also gonna be like a, an entrance like opening area here uh, and I will show you what that will be in just one moment I'm also in the back of my head while I'm doing all of this I'm trying to decide whether I want to tell you now what's gonna be the end of the pier or whether I want to leave it for the next episode it's just like how how nice do I want to be am I gonna be nice and tell you now or am I gonna leave you uh, in suspense you know I think I'm, I think I might leave it because I had the I had the reveal of what like the actual pier is gonna be like today I, I want to leave it because it's weird. It's not what you would expect. It's not a shop. It's not like a restaurant or anything. It's it's just something odd <laughs> that I want that I just had an idea to do and I just thought it might look nice. And so it, it does have a function, but it's mainly a, a, as a thing to to look at. There, there we go. I get. I didn't tell you what it was, but I gave you some clues. So maybe if you want, you could uh, have a, a guess in the comments to to what. Uh, I'm going to be building, but I'm only going to be impressed by comments that get it right or close if they commented before <laughs> before I've uploaded the next episode. So no watching the next episode and saying, oh yeah, that's what I guessed or, or try to guess then or saying, I promise I haven't watched it because I won't believe you <laughs> if you guess it right. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is how it's going to be. It's basically, uh, I'm doing it too wide because I did it one uh, one wide at first and it just didn't look like there would be like strong enough. Um, to support it. So it's a little bit awkward just because I'm building in the water. I did also do an attempt doing it with bamboo, but I felt like bamboo just kind of didn't match the uh, the dark oak, whereas I think doing this and matching the uh, the fences that we have on the, the top looks good. You know what? I do like the ray tracing, but they make it really hard when you're building in water because everything looks all realistically warped and weird, and it's it's so hard it's so hard to judge where I'm actually like placing anything. Uh, I think it might be easier to do it from like the surface and place down like this but it, it, it just makes them look so like giant and weird it's cool though well it's annoying to build like that but when they're when they're done i think it will uh, it will look good and i'm almost done with this first one here so i'll check 
Uh, check out what's going on at the, <laughs> the top. Whether my helpers are all okay. I just can't believe that I was just happily building away and then there was all this chaos happening in the in the background. And oh no, we're littering. We'll have to um maybe go along in a in a boat and scoop up uh scoop up everything. Oh yeah, I've been doing more experimenting with um with chests and boats, by the way, and I think I'm on the the verge of of coming up with a a good mini game uh, to to do with them, so that will probably be coming soon. And oh no, I think I need I think I need one more fence. Do, is there are there any that I drop down here? Oh no, because I, I was going to do two here like that, but I but I ran out. Let me go back to my crafting table. You know I'm going to need more fences anyway, so I just might might as well just make like a, a whole bunch of them because uh, I'm going to need loads of these anyway. So let's go and make some more of these, and then for if we tell, let's just make loads because I know I'm going to need them anyway. So, oh, oh, what was that? Ow, ow. It's really jarring when you get hit and they just like take you out of the out of the menu. But there we go, they weren't they weren't too threatening at the end of the day. So there we go, I got over a stack of these. So I need to go and place one more down here. Oh no, there was one in the water. Oh, that's so annoying. I did say, oh, you probably saw that one and was shouting at your screen, but I didn't even see it. But yeah, there we go. So this is how the, uh, the struts are gonna be. Because obviously in the past, when you put fences down into water, it looked all weird because like the water wouldn't go through there. But it looks really good now. Like, you don't need to, to do blocks on the, the way down. And, oh, there's another one that I placed wrong up here as well. Uh, so, yeah, these are basically going to be on every pokey outside. So, basically, under all of the, the frog lights, there's going to be those struts kind of the, the whole way along. So, maybe I could just mark a few of the places. So, like, uh, there, and then, like, there... And then like there. So yeah, helpers, if you're, uh, uh, if any of you are free, finished with what you're doing at the top, if you basically copy what I've done down here with these um these oak fences uh, and kind of just do them, yeah, just too wide and then in that same shape, uh, and it's going to kind of match the the shape that I'm going to do at the the top here. But then I'm also going to use a uh, another frog light on the the top here. I haven't got a name for the um the the pier yet. So I do need to, to think about that. I don't know if I want to name it something to do with frog lights, but I don't know if that's just silly because it's not like actually that much to do with frog lights. It's just frog lights are new <laughs> and I wanted to build them here. So yeah, maybe I will, uh, I won't commit to naming the, the pier yet and I'll see if I come up with a, a name a little bit later on. Anyway, let's go up. Um, yeah, let's go up by one more. And then I'm going to build in and up a little bit like this. And then I'm just going to build across and then do one like frog light at the, the top, kind of just poking up. So if I kind of go along there like that. Oh, that's kind of weird the way it's like, it's like placing them like above me as well. That's so weird. Wait, have I gone like by too much? Oh, I have. That's so weird. Uh, so let's just go, let's tell, let's break away the edges. Uh, it doesn't really matter what this is. I'm just kind of coming up with a, a pattern on the fly. But then I'll once again kind of match what I did before and have the frog light higher up. Then, oh yeah, I'm going to do the uh, the oak half slab on the, the top of it there like that as well. And to get down, I can just jump into the water. <clears throat> Perfect. So, right. This is what the, the entrance is going to look like. Oh, I'm missing... Uh, oak fence there and then one down there like that and then yeah whenever i do come up with a name for what it's going to, to be i can kind of put up a, a sign to, to name it uh, sorry then let's go uh tell you can probably stand up and join me secret uh, i i got in such a habit of making them sit down because i'm so scared they're gonna get hurt but like this is probably about as safe as a place that we could be building seeing it's all like raised and then like we've got fences all over the place and like water underneath us we'll let we'll let secret stretch her legs and go for a little roam anyway let's go put down the the rest of the the frog lights uh, because these are really going to be what makes the difference and i actually want to try and get all of these done before um before morning if i can because obviously it's just going to look so much nicer um yeah doing this um uh, at night time when they're all like light and glowing so right, let's go and break that away and then let's go and do oh no it's becoming day oh you can get a little idea if i stand from here pretend they're all behind me as well there you go you can get a little idea of what they look like when they're all nice and glowing <laughs> uh, did you want to go do some of the uh the supports underneath fizzy if you are if you are a spare set of hands do 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 um do elephants have hands a set of set of legs set of feet set of set of stompers set of set of stampies <laughs> i don't know anyway let's go do i got two more frog lights I, d I do need to gather more like as i said now the frogs there it's not that hard all you need to do is get the magma cube out of the never but it's more just like finding them and waiting for them to to spawn is the thing that takes a load of time and i guess now I can see exactly how many of these there's going to be, and then I will know exactly how many I need to get. But to be fair, because it's like, 
because the the pier isn't crazy crazy long i might not actually be that far off at all oh, oh no i've run out of frog lights already okay maybe i am i'll tell you what i can do carry on doing this anyway and then that will be ready for when i do get a frog light for for how it's going to to be so you can just imagine these uh stretching the the whole way down here and oh yeah it looks so good the way it like wiggles i, I need to go, you know what i might do i might go up to the lighthouse in a second and look over it from uh from above and then you can kind of get a really good idea of what the uh the shape is going to be but yeah probably around here it's gonna like open up and be like one big giant platform and then that's where the um the mystery thing that i am building at the end of the pier uh, is going to, to be located so as you can see it's pretty huge but it's a bit good because this is like such a a big giant central area of my lovely world and but okay is someone underneath us or oh, is it a googly or is that is that willie i think it might be william is like underneath and secret is just like what is that i can hear under the bridge <laughs> yeah it's like such like a giant area of, like right in the middle of my world but I also didn't build anything there because it's all just water so it's kind of cool that I'm now like being able to like build over it and like make the most of this because it's going to be something that I'm going to see like almost every single video as like I run past here so I always take extra care to make it look lovely anyway you can wait there for now secret uh yeah just for the end of the episode I'm going to go run up to the um the, the top of the lighthouse and then i'll give you a good overview of what it looks like uh above and then in the next episode i will finally reveal what it is that i am building at the the end of the pier and then we'll get it finished uh for quite a big project we have worked hard and i think it will just be a two video project because we are very very efficient uh it's nice going back to old places i haven't been to my lighthouse in ages it used to be an art gallery and then it got to the point where like any signs or paintings just made the world lag so i ended up taking them down maybe if i update my graphics card i'll be able to put the uh the art back up on the uh, on the walls uh, but for now they won't be there and there we go we can see what the pier looks like from above see the way it like wiggles across and then of course all of those um struts will be down like the the whole way along and then when the frog lights are there at night time i think this place is going to look awesome and actually from my house you could probably see it as well and i think that would be a, a great view of it maybe when um I'll finish building it in the next episode. Uh, we'll go get a, uh, another view of what it looks like uh, from above. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode here. As I said, uh, next one will be uh, coming out very soon. Uh, we, we will uh, finish off the pier. Uh, but apart from that, thank you so much to my helpers for your amazing work, helping me get uh, so much of this done. Thank you for you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!